What's up, everybody? It's your boy K Ray. Back at you again today. I say what I'm gonna be doing today, or actually what I have here is a wild hog hind quarter. Um, it's pretty big. Bought a um, a wild hog from a friend of ours that does hunting a while back. So this been you know wrapped really nice and good. Put in the freezer. For probably about three months. So. Got a little time, thought I'll uh, take it out, put it on the smoker, have some good eating, and uh, share this video with y'all. So, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to inject it first. I got some of this Tony Satcher's roasted garlic and herb um, injection and marinade. So, this is what I'm going to use to inject it, to give it a little bit more flavor and, uh, and some, some moisture on the inside. And the rub that I'm going to be using is this Tango Spice unnamed pork rub uh tango joe sent it out to me you know a couple of months ago uh i've been pretty busy hadn't had a chance to uh to do any cooks with it so i'm gonna do it to use this today and what i have right here is some uh you know you want it barbecue sauce uh from a good friend of mine uh manuel uh, rios over there at uh, l rabbits uh, barbecue i'm gonna use this i'm gonna incorporate this in this cook as well um, be using some coarse ground black pepper, coarse ground kosher salt is my first layer of a rub on this. So what I'm going to do is a little prep work that's involved. So all I got to do is just get this silver skin right here off of here. It's pretty easy to do. Um, not going to film that. So next time I come, I'm going to have a silver skin off of it. Probably have it rubbed up and ready to go. Um, on injected, rubbed up, ready to go back on, ready to go on the smoker. All right, later. All right, I'm back. As you can see, I got that little initial uh, film of skin, fatty skin, off of there. So meat, really nice and ready to go. I already injected it, so took almost that whole bottle of injection. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just. Um, Hit it with some olive oil and then put uh, my couple of layers of rub on now. I'll get back at you later. All right, I'm back. As you can see, I got the wild hog hind quarter rubbed down. Just use the kosher salt, coarse ground kosher salt, coarse ground, coarse ground uh, black pepper one to one. Just put it on that real nice and even. And then I put the Tango Spice unnamed pork rub on there. Man, smells really, really good. So what I'm going to do is just let it sit here probably about 10 minutes so uh, all the seasons can settle together before I put it on the smoker. And uh, I'll be ready to go. I'll be cooking on my insulated, my Lone Star Grill insulated vertical smoker, probably around 250, 275 later. Right, I'm back about 45 minutes into the cook. As you can see, smoker burning really, really, really nice and clean. Thin and blue as you can get it. Temp holding right now about 275, 270, 265, 270. So open up and see what we got in here actually I got three briskets going along with this uh, hind quarter really just focusing on the hind quarter so there she go she's a beaut I'm gonna run it till get to about 155 internal then I'm going to wrap it and uh, get up to about 170, 175. Have some good sliced pork later. Right, everybody. I'm back. About um, three and a half hours into the cook. Let's open up and see what we got. All right. Thanks for coming along pretty good. I mean, what I did is I, I flipped it over like at the three hour mark. 
to get some uh, consistent bark on it. Man, it smells really good. And I've been spritzing, spritzing it like about every, about every hour. Just using some apple juice, apple cider vinegar, a little soy sauce. So that's it, she coming along later. Right, everybody, I'm back. Five hours into the cook. See what we got. Right, see what we got here. Coming along real nice. Colors there, textures there. Nice little bulk. I hit it one time with a uh, one layer of that uh you know you want it, uh, barbecue sauce by L. Rabbit, my main man, Texas compadre. So, uh, got about another hour to go probably, sitting at about 160 on internal temp. Get to about 170, we'll be rolling later. Right, everybody, I'm back. This is my finished product, as you can see. Got a nice color, nice bark texture, and I know it's really, really tender. So what I'm going to do is just uh, let it rest for about 30 minutes, and I'll be back, cut into it, see what we got later. All right, everybody, I'm back. This is my finished product on the Wild Hog uh, hind quarter. Uh, what I did was, like, I smoked it. On, on my insulated smoker, my Long Star Grills insulated smoker, for about six and a half hours, uh, between 250 and 275. And um, I did wrap it, but I only wrapped it for like about the last hour and a half of the cook. Um, so let's cut in here and see what we got. Just cut right along here. Nice. Good piece of meat there. Still good. See all that moisture in there. Nice little smoke ring here. Man. Tastes really, really good. The deeper you get into it, the closer you get to the bone, the more moisture will come out of it. But as you can see, I mean, this meat here is nice tender and moist. Smoke ring, man, you could do a lot with this. Excuse my smacking, but that's what I always do when I eat. Can't hit it. Pulls right apart, nice and tender. Good eat. So, I want to thank um, Tango Joe for sending me that no name um, pork sauce, I mean pork rub. Tastes really good on here. Incorporated with the coarse ground black pepper in the um, and the salt. And uh, man, that you know you want a barbecue sauce just really took it up a whole nother notch. I want to thank my man, Manuel, over at L Rabbit's Barbecue uh, for that as well. So, this is my version of Wild Hog Hind Quarter. Just smoke completely on the smoker. I mean, you can do it different if you like. But this is just my way of doing it. I don't like boiling my wild game. I like cooking it straight on the smoke. So, that's it. No gamey taste. Nothing at all. So it's K Ray, K Ray's Q, Texas style barbecue, Southern style cooking. Appreciate all the viewers, all the subscribers, and uh, check me out. Let me know what y'all think about this. I get with y'all in the near future. Peace out. Later.